Hi, this is Jeff Greenberg. Welcome to the videos that accompany the book, The Editor's Guide to Premiere Pro. We're starting off right here with workspaces, and that's the idea that workspaces are a bunch of panels open in the correct use we might like for a given sort of topic. For example, I'm starting off with this default editing here. And you can see in the bottom left is my media browser that we'll see in the next couple chapters, my effects tab where I've got all my effects my timeline, my source, and my program monitors. If you're a Final Cut and an Avid user, you might prefer the editing workspace because you'll notice that project gets thrown up in the top left window and we've got the sort of feel here of three panels the way we would in Final Cut or Avid with our effects down in the bottom left. When we go and we take a look at the audio workspace, you'll see that we get the mixer put in the top left, in the top center, I should say, and we have effects in the top left, meaning it's real easy for us to dial in and use our audio effects here. Going back to the window menu, I've got the color correction workspace, and this workspace happens to be perfect for color correction. Notice when I click on this clip, I have under my effects control a three-way color corrector, and probably the only thing you'll need to do is come down to the settings here and change this over to a set of scopes. I'm going to set this over to the Vectorscope YC Waveform and RGB Parade, and this is perfect for color correction. We have an effects workspace for when I'm focusing on doing effects, and notice it's almost identical to the three up that we I, I said that I liked for um, things like Final Cut editors, like editing. And we have meta logging. Metadata is a really important part of the editorial process. And as I go through clips in my project, let me just go ahead and switch to my project. As I select clips here, I can double click, bring them open to my source monitor, and you can see on the right side the metadata is changing. Now, I like all this stuff, but I want to show you how to build your own workspace, and I'm going to base it on the editing workspace, just the basic editing. There are two things I'm going to do here. One is, I'm not exactly thrilled that my meters are vertical. I really like them horizontal. And second is, I want to show you a workspace switcher that's built in. So, with this starting at this spot, I'm going to grab the little texture here, and you can see that in every window, for example, the desert montage, or I should say the timeline, there's a little texture here, my tools have a texture. You grab that texture and as you move it around on screen you'll see a couple things happen. First is if I hit the top of the screen itself, I hit the, the window bar area, it'll pop out into its own separate monitor. I'm just going to go ahead and drag that up. There it goes and I come up here and it should be coming up. Let me pull it off to my right screen. There we go. We can see it comes out as a separate monitor. And this is a floating window. And if I were to hit play, you can see it going ahead and showing you that data. I'm going to grab again that texture. And notice the highlight. If I hit the center of any panel, it will become a tab in that panel. If I hit the edge, it'll subdivide it. So since I want this to be with the timeline, I'm going to subdivide the top of the timeline area right here. And it gets subdivided. I'm just going to scrunch that up just so my meters sit nice and level with my timeline. That's a lot better way for me to be able to take a look at my audio. And then there's a cool one here, and you should explore all these, that we don't mention in the book, or I think we, we just briefly mentioned, is the Options panel. This Options panel allows you to switch your actual workspaces. And I'm going to go ahead and grab, once again, that tiny texture. And I'm going to hit to the right side. Just Now it's going to be a little tough to see. I'm going to hit the right edge of, I think it's right about there and it's subdivided my audio meter. I'm just going to scooch that over just a little bit and now I'm able to switch my workspaces here as opposed to just the keyboard commands that are up here. Now if I were going to use this workspace switcher, if I was going to use this, I'd probably want to add it to every workspace. I'm just going to save this and I'm going to go up here and say new workspace, I'm going to call it JG Editing and you can build and adjust the ones you want if at any time I'm going to say OK. If I go ahead and I mess any of these up, once I've saved this, I can come back up to the workspace menu and say, reset the current workspace. It'll put it back to what it was. And last, I just want you to hear the idea that you can go ahead and modify the existing workspaces and build your own. And I highly suggest that you do to make Premiere Pro work the way you'd like it to work.